Hi. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note taking improve investigations in less than a day. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note taking and planning technique. I've been helping people uh, manage knowledge and information for the past 20 years. I was also a police officer here in London uh, back in the day for 12 years. So I made quite an interesting statement here. I'm suggesting that a different type of note taking can improve investigations in less than a day. Well, actually the different type of note taking takes less than a day to learn, therefore improves investigations. Now, the reason I'm so confident that this is the case is for investigators, a core part of our work is um, interviewing suspects, interviewing witnesses, understanding what they're saying, get to grips with what they're saying, and then drawing conclusions. But one of the challenges is that, say for example, it's a really complex inquiry and we're dealing with a suspect. There might be myself, I might be doing the interview, I've got a colleague who's taking notes, and one or both of us, and it's the interview's being taped, and one or both of us is trying to take notes at the same time. Well, we can sit and listen, but there's a problem with that because if it's a two hour or three hour interview, we're gonna forget what's being said. So we need to probably write things down. We're unlikely to use a laptop because that's going to create a barrier between ourselves and in this case a suspect or it could be a witness. So we're going to write things down. But the technique that we've all been trained to write information down with is a note-taking technique. And it puts a cap on our performance because that technique is 2,000 years old. It's been brought through the education system. We'll have been trained, indoctrinated to use it and we then use it throughout, as everyone else does, throughout our professional careers. But the problem with that technique, it's a record now, use later technique. But as investigators, we need to be able to use the information and knowledge we capture and really understand it now, not a later point. And that is the huge failing with the, I call it previous generation note-taking technique we were all taught. In effect, it puts a ceiling on our capability to understand and use and really use uh, information and knowledge real time. And that, as investigators, is a huge risk. Because if we don't get things right, the implications on a, on a serious investigation could be huge for ourselves, our colleagues, the people we're looking to help, the reputation of our force or whatever agency we're working for. The implications can be huge. So how can something quite s simple like, so I'm suggesting a note-taking technique, which can be learned in less than a day, can make a huge difference. And the reason it makes a huge difference is there is a very subtle but huge shift from next generation note-taking and where we've come from previous generation note-taking. Because where we are now, is a recording technique. However, if we can move and make a shift to a processing technique where we understand information knowledge real time, that changes everything. And I'll show you how it works. And there are four key elements to next generation note taking, te you know, and you can take any one of them and start to use it. The first one is deep filtering. The next one is deep processing, followed by, um, dynamic structuring and a, creating a dynamic overview. And I'll take you through it step by step. So first bit, deep filtering. Now if I was to look at this uh, information here, and I would do this as I'm listening, I would be looking to identify what is the important information that person sharing with me, and I'd also want to capture the language they're using, because that that's critically important because I'm looking for repetition and emphasis as well. So here I would probably choose um, find one quick. So I've got, we need to find one quick technique to help investigators improve their performance and to help them increase their professionalism. So I'd probably take find one quick. I'd probably use technique, uh, help investigators. I don't need to help because that's not part of the core information and it's, uh, where I improve performance and increase 
professionalism. Now, once I've done that deep processing, this next part is the game changer. So as I say, the, it's this deep processing. So I've done the deep filtering. So I made a slight mix there. So I've done the deep filtering, which is this. It's the next step, the deep processing, that's the game changer. And so we would go find one quick uh, technique. Um, actually, I wouldn't use investigators because by implication, I was just thinking of this, by implication, I know what I'm talking about investigators here. So I don't actually need that in this instance. But what I would take is improved performance. And I've abbreviated, it just helps with speed of capturing the knowledge and increased professionalism. Now, one of the advantages of this deep filtering is you're thinking at a much deeper level as to what information is really important. And when it comes to the deep processing, you take, so you take the filtered information that you've filtered out, um, you break it in single units and you reconnect it. And that breaking single units and reconnecting is the game changer because it changes something called percentage RTU. And that straight away increases our performance and professionalism. Percentage RTU. So you're probably thinking, what's he talking about RTU? RTU is the game changer. It's real time understanding. Now cognitive neuroscientists have tested this, these type of techniques and real time understanding about 64% in a complex situation. By switching to next generation note taking where you're doing this deep filtering and deep processing, suddenly within two weeks, your real time understanding jumps to that. And after a year, it jumps to 84%, so a 20% increase. And if you're dyslexic, it jumps to 87%. So essentially, as a professional investigator, you're able to suddenly understand the information and knowledge you're hearing, say over an hour, two hours, three hours, at a 20% higher level than your colleagues who, on a, who are on your level peer to peer. That is a game changer in terms of being able to really interact with a witness or a, we were talking about a suspect in this case. The next percentage increase again makes a huge difference. And this is percentage um, GA. Probably thinking, GA? What's he on about? Well, I explain what a GA is. It's glance access. Because it's all very well me increasing my understanding, but if I can't actually see the information, because an hour's worth of, or two hours worth of knowledge is a huge amount, if I can't actually see it, I'm relying on my short term memory. So glance access is crucial. Now, at a glance, I can see this in a way that I can't see that. And I can see an hour's worth of this in a way I could never see an hour's worth of that. And not only that, when I've got this uh, knowledge in, the form, in this format, it's very easy for me to identify what the major headings are. It's very easy for me to, to group information on head, under headings, um, smaller headings. And by doing all of that, all the time, I'm increasing my ability to question, my ability to spot links. Um, I'm spotting language over time. All of this makes a huge difference. So when I'm walking out of you know, the complex interview, whether it's a, a suspect or a witness, and it could be an hour's interview, it could be a three hour interview, I'm walking out there with the confidence that I've got out of that interview all the knowledge that I need to. And as far as I know, to the best of my ability, there are no gaps. And that in terms of an investigation can have huge benefits and saves a substantial amount of time. And also my ability to debrief people afterwards is really fast. So to give you an idea, that is an, is an hour's worth of knowledge, really detailed knowledge on three quarters of a page. If I was writing longhand back in the day, that would have been like two to four sheets of A4 of which I'd have had no idea or not much idea of what was there until afterwards. 
With this, I'm walking out of that interview knowing exactly what happened and knowing exactly that I've answered all the, um, asked all the questions I wanted to and I've covered off everything I want to. Very quickly, that is an example. I tend to use an A5 book now, but that is an example of two hours worth of knowledge which I can see real time as I'm interviewing someone. No one else can do that. It's a game changer. So if you've liked this, um, please feel free to take elements of this next generation note taking, you know, the deep filtering, deep processing, or please feel free to start to use, you know, the, the basic elements of smart wisdom, which I've shared with you, or if you want to come and join me and learn more, obviously feel free to do that. Please feel free to leave a comment. And of course, please share with any investigators, anybody who's in charge of investigators, either a local, national or international level, because this can make the difference between night and day or life and death, quite literally. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a superb rest of the day. Ah, one final thing, on the sides at the top or down the bottom, I put some more tips together for you um, and you're free to download them. Thank you. Ah, and the tips are on managing information, of course. Thank you.